So this is the launch gaming and digital futures conference here at Aston Science Park. And one of the big themes of today is how young people can launch themselves into a career in the gaming industry. And a lot of people are doing just that, striking out on their own. But what does that involve? Well, these days it means one or perhaps two people setting up shop in an incubator like this one at Aston Science Park. But can these one or two person companies really have a positive impact on our economy? Knowledge economy businesses tend to be smaller than traditional manufacturing businesses. But it is the new economy so we, and we do need to create jobs. They tend to be higher value jobs uh, and they're also ones that are the future. And if Birmingham isn't uh, supporting those industries, we're going to struggle. And while inside the incubator, these young companies can actually radically change their original idea. They often say you get to sort of plan B, plan C, plan D before you find the plan G, I think, is the normal kind of thing. We're, we're at B at the moment. For the founders of some of our more venerable digital companies, like Leamington Spa-based Blitz Games with over 200 employees, incubators sound like a great idea. We set up a business in 1990. This is before the internet with no advice and nobody to go to and no help, no support. And although our games were really successful, boy, did we lose a lot of money not understanding how to run a business. Construction on the first part of this new £35 million incubator investment could begin in just 12 months' time. David Gregory, BBC Minns Today, Birmingham.